The chief of the Iranian Space Agency, ISA, has praised positive advancements in orbit technology, announcing that Tehran plans to launch satellites weighing up to 500 kilograms into space on the back of locally manufactured carriers within years. Hassan Solaria said Iran is aiming to improve its domestic rockets for launching satellite carriers, and in four years it expects to be able to launch satellites weighing up to 500 kilograms into orbit. By March 20, 2023, the end of the current Persian calendar year, Iran will probably be able to launch 100 kg satellites into an orbit that is 500 meters above the surface of the Earth, Solaria said. He added, efforts will continue, and God willing, we will launch a 200 kg satellite next year. In four years, we will launch 500 kg satellites. The ISA chief said that several experiments were being carried out as part of the nation's systematic plan to advance the space industry. Solaria continued, many of the Iranian-made satellites can be launched and deployed into orbit on Iranian-made carriers since they are lightweight. He said the government is now developing a number of satellites at home and the restricted capacity of domestic carriers may not allow the launch of all types of satellites into orbit within a year, for example. This, however, does not imply that Iran would not employ foreign launcher rockets, he pointed out. The Iranian satellite named Kayyem was launched into orbit in the middle of August using a Russian Soyuz 2.1B carrier rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. ISA verified that all of the Kayyem satellite systems were operating accurately. Iran's borders will be monitored using imagery from Kayyem and the nation's management and planning capacities in the areas of agriculture, natural resources, environment, mining, and natural catastrophes will also be improved. Issa Zaraper, the Iranian Minister of Communications and Information Technology, has said Moscow and Tehran have decided to continue their aeronautical collaboration. Despite U.S. sanctions, Iran has made enormous technological and scientific advancements in recent years. Early in June, ISA revealed that preparations for the launch of seven additional satellites into orbit had begun. Iran conducted a second test of its homegrown Zuljana hybrid propellant satellite carrier rocket in late June for predetermined scientific purposes. In February 2021, the Zuljana satellite carrier was first sent into space by the Defense Ministry. The latest developments in the aerospace sector will be revealed in the future, according to President Ebrahim Raisi. He said during the August cabinet meeting that the nation will see unprecedented space accomplishments in the future. According to the agency, the control and operation of Kayan, which was developed in joint cooperation with the Russian Federation, will be carried out by Iranian experts based in ground stations related to the Ministry of Communications and Information Technology ICT, and in the territory of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The satellite was built while Iran is still under U.S. sanctions. Three countries were involved in the process of putting Kayyem into orbit in obvious defiance of U.S. sanctions. That partly explains why Iranian officials hailed the satellite as a remarkable achievement. Iranian President Ayatollah Said Ebrahim Raisi described the successful placement of the Kayyem satellite in orbit, message reception, control and data management by Iranian experts as honorable and authoritative.
The president also vowed to reverse the backwardness in Iran's aerospace program, saying that his administration intends to make up for the backwardness in this field, and in the future we will witness the unveiling of new achievements in this field, which will make a great contribution to the environment, mineral exploration, natural hazard management and border monitoring. The breakthrough Iran made with Qayyum came amid Western propaganda against Iran's drone capabilities. Iran has reached new milestones in building state-of-the-art drones and satellites, a move that raised alarm bells in the West and some regional capitals. In mid-July, American media leveled accusations against Iran and claimed that it was supplying Russia with drones. We have information that the Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with several hundred UAVs, including weapons-capable UAVs, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told CNN at the time. Citing U.S. officials, CNN also said that Iran began showcasing the Shad 191. and Shad 129 drones, also known as UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles, to Russia at Kashin Airfield south of Tehran in June. We assess an official Russian delegation recently received a showcase of Iranian attack-capable UAVs, Sullivan added.